Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Now behind me is the 2021 Lance 650. This truck camper is lightweight, it's stylish, and it is full of great features like a wet bath with a toilet and shower, a queen size bed, a full kitchen, and a dinette that turns into a bed that works great for adults. Amazing what is in here. It fits a five and a half foot bed or a six and a half foot bed on a half ton truck. So lots packed into this small space and I'm gonna show you all around. Uh, you know, depending on the options, this truck camper is gonna cost you between 25 and 30,000. And it's gonna weigh probably 1,700 pounds with a lot of features, you're gonna go up to about 1,900 pounds. I'll show you how to check the weight on them as well. So let's get started, let's go inside. Okay, so the inside of this camper, you know, it's only six foot 10 inches from the front cab over part where you step up into the bed to the door. That's not very far, but it doesn't feel terribly cramped in here. It's a real clean finish. I will tell you the height of this. Yes, I'm only five foot tall, but the height of this is over six foot seven inches. And Clint, who's videoing right now, walked underneath the air conditioner easily without a problem, and he's six foot four. So there is some height here to work with. Shouldn't have a problem there. Um, let's go over what's at the door. Cabinets up here on both sides of the dinette. You've got some storage right in here and then a netted area above the window. You know, in a small camper, you wanna get as much storage as you can. The clock that you'll see in all of the Lance truck campers and trailers, I love that. And the key holder. Um, now this interior that you're looking at here is called Royal. It is a new interior look in 2021. So you've got a lighter panel, kind of an ash colored wood, and there's three colors of the leatherette. Uh, one is a, a dark blue, which is this one. It's called Royal. There's a Java that's a chocolate brown. And then a light gray that's not a leatherette. It's more of a suede feel. And that is called Platinum. So those are your three interior choices. Um, right down here on the end of the dinette, Let's take a look at these uh, switches. You've got docking lights right here. That's the one that's lit up. Now, next to that, you will have your courtesy light right above you. Below, this is gonna turn on your backup camera. This camper actually has the optional backup camera. And because it's hooked up to the 12 volt, you wanna turn that on when you wanna use it. Just reach in the back door, flip that switch, and your backup camera will work. We actually have that set up in the bed area, so we'll show that to you um, when we get that far. And right next to this is the plug because there's a remote that you work with here when you put the jacks up and down. We'll show you that when we do the outside. And if the battery gets low, you can use a cord similar to a phone style cord and just plug it in right here. And that way your remote doesn't have to have the battery operating. There's three switches right in the front here, and these are your patio lights. You have one on each side and one in the back. So all of those can be controlled right here by the door, and they are two-way switches. So if the switch is up, 
then the light is yellow, which is great if you want to try not to um, attract any bugs. Uh, but if the switch goes down, the light turns white. If you need more light, uh, then that's the way to do it. So you've got both options here and all of your outside lighting right here on the end of the dinette. On this side, you've got a little hook right here and a mirror on the outside of the bathroom door. Kind of makes it feel a little more open and, you know, who doesn't like a mirror somewhere in your camper? So while we're here, let's take a look at the inside of the entry door. There is a screen door, so of course you can open your entry door, keep the bugs out, but let lots of airflow in. And there is a uh, glass panel here, a window. It, yeah, it isn't uh, completely see-through, but if you wanted to keep the light out, there is a pull-down shade here. Just pulls right down, pushes in, and clips right into that. So that's gonna cover the light. You can actually black out every window in the camper. Always helpful when you're camping if you wanna sleep a little late. Up above, a fantastic fan. So if you have the windows open or the door open with the screen closed, you can get great airflow in here by opening that vent. And it is thermostatically controlled, so you can actually set it. So if the camper gets too hot, the fan kicks on and vents it out for you. Creates a breeze if you have a window or a door open. Really great feature when you're camping. All right, let's take a look inside the wet bath here. So the bathroom is a wet bath. It has a toilet and a shower combination. And let's face it, you know, there's no dancing room in here. But when you do step into it, you will step up a little bit onto the floor. It's about six foot one because there is a skylight at the top. So if you're a little taller than that, you may want to sit down to shower. It's, it's a tight space, but certainly workable if you need it. Now they did fit in the sink, which is molded into the back. The toilet paper holder is on the back and there is a little bit of a shelf if you needed to uh, set you know, down your shampoo, your soap, anything like that. The medicine cabinet is mirrored and it's a simple touch and it pops open with two shelves in there. So you've got really uh, some storage space in the bathroom. I love the way it is a molded bathroom so you don't have seams at the corner. Um, you do have a towel rack in the back and then the bar across the top for hanging even more items. A removable clothes rod is what they call it on the options. So a lot of great features in here. I want to point out at the bottom, the standing space is only 21 inches between the door and uh, the wall next to the sink and a little bit smaller in your foot space. So it's tight with a shower curtain that pulls across the front, but it's workable guys. So, you know, you can always use the campground shower, but in a pinch, you've got everything you need here and it'll work well for you. The kitchen in the Lance 650 is compact, but they did an amazing job of designing it and including everything. So let's start with storage right here. And in this cabinet, there's a shelf here, a little bit underneath, and you'll see there's a plug right there at the back where the microwave is plugged in. Uh, the latch actually has a catch on it that holds it open and comes down. It's got a little push latch here to open it up. So it's a slam latch to close it. I really like that feature. And the microwave has no turntable in it. They always do just a flat floor uh, microwave. So you don't have to worry about that tray in there moving around when you're traveling or breaking. Uh, very easy to work with. If you don't get the microwave as an option, you just have a cabinet door here and more storage. The sink is a nice size. It's about five inches deep. Um, and high arched faucet makes it easy to put tall things in here. Certainly plenty of space to do dishes. You've got a nice uh, cover that kind of fits inside it, fits tightly. So it could certainly double as countertop space, cutting board, whatever it is you needed. A little spice rack on the left here. They're light at the top. It's a dual LED light really lights up this kitchen well, which is important when you're cooking. 
two burner stove right here on the right hand side. Below that, your forced air furnace is right here in the front of the kitchen cabinet. Now, this is a really nice feature. It's 18,000 BTU, so it's going to keep this camper toasty. Now, there are two drawers on the left hand side. They are probably about three inches deep, and the top one is going to come with your silverware holder in it. Fits perfectly in that drawer, and they do have a soft close, which is nice. 110 plug right here on the front for any appliances. On the other side of this galley is a cabinet door, but you can see that it's really not a ton of storage. It is access to the water heater, the electrical, a few things in here. You probably could store a few things, but it's not going to be a great pantry or cabinet there. Lance has put all of the controls in one place, which uh, it really helps to relieve some of the clutter if you don't have switches all over the camper. Up here, the awning control. This does have a power awning on the side. So those controls are right up here to extend and retract the awning uh, and turn on the light right here on the right. Below that, this has a tankless water heater. So this control looks a little daunting, but it is simple to use and you just adjust the temperature up and down on it. The um, monitor panel is on the right with the water pump switch on it. And of course the battery, the black, gray, and fresh tanks all right here to be able to monitor how much water you have in each tank. Below that is going to be the air conditioner and the heater controls. Right here it's a thermostat just like the one you have at home. And that is all right above your little spice rack right here. So it's really nice that it's all contained in one place. And I think this is a good time to mention that they have changed the wallboard. This light gray with a little bit of a pattern in it just really kind of gives this a comfortable but modern feel. Uh, it really brightens up the interior. I like that change in the 2021. The window right above the kitchen, great airflow if you're standing here cooking. You can get a little breeze coming in. This might be a great place to show you how these windows work. Now, these are acrylic windows, so they are dual paned and they do have a tent to them. So they're gonna make it just a little cooler if you're in the heat. Um, unclip right here and they just tip out. And then you take these knobs and just tighten them down. Very simple to do and you can adjust how far you want these windows to open. Now there is a screen that pulls down from the top and there's also a privacy panel that pulls up from the bottom. So you lift this up and if you wanted, you can clip them together and put them maybe halfway so that you get a little bit of air ventilation but a little bit of privacy along with that. Um, of course, you can always just open it up and have a nice breeze coming into your camper. All right, so those acrylic windows, I think, are just a wonderful feature for any camper, especially if you're in a small space. The big open windows make a huge difference. Let's move over and take a look at the dinette before we move up into the cab over. The dinette in this 650 is really comfortable. And having this big window right next to you, which is, again, the acrylic window, so it's got the blackout that comes up and then the screen that comes down, and you can open it completely really nice. Up above, the cabinets on each side and then the netting in between so you get maximum storage without it really feeling closed in. Down underneath, I like that they have put the 120 plug right here and then the charging ports with the USB and the 12 volt right here so that if you're working at the table, it's really accessible. Now, I want to show you that this table can be in a lot of different positions. Right now, it is actually pushed the way that it is going to give you maximum walkthrough space. And that's really what you may want at some times when you're camping with this style of camper. But if you slide it away from the back, you've got more sitting space back there, but it's not a rectangular table. You can spin it around. You can actually turn it sideways if you wanted more space on the ends. 
or pull it this way and slide it out. Then this curved side actually follows the curve of the dinette and makes it uh, available for someone to sit behind it. It comes out into this space just a little bit more, but again, easy to just slide back out of the way a little bit. So this table is really versatile. I love that fact. Now, when you're making it into a bed, you can take the pole out, the table drops down right on this ledge, cushions fold over, and you've got a 32 inch wide, 76 inch long bed. That's six foot four, so great if you've got somebody who needs a separate sleeping area right here. Right up above me is the 10,000 BTU air conditioner. It's an option and it's gonna keep this camper really cool. And it, the 10,000 BTU allows you to use a portable generator as well. So that's a big plus. Now, over here next to that is the smoke alarm and of course two speakers for the stereo that we'll see up in the cab over area. There's also two outside speakers in this camper as well. Magazine rack right here. Now this is the, uh, we've got it sitting in here and this is gonna be the remote for the jacks. We will talk about that when we get outside. I like the way they have put three different steps in here. You know, sometimes getting in and out of the bed in the cab over, eh, it's a little tricky, especially at night. They have actually built in steps that don't hinder moving around in the main floor. A small step on the corner here, uh, the main step right here, and a little small step above it. So it's really easy to ease yourself down out of the cab over area. Now next to the steps, is the converter where you're gonna have your breakers and fuses right here. And of course the converter is what changes the 120 volt shore power into the 12 volt power that's gonna run so much of what's in your camper. Down below in the corner is the LP carbon monoxide detector, always close to the floor since LP is heavier than air. It's gonna be out of the way, but there to keep you safe. Okay. It's time to move up and see what we have up in the cab over. The Land 650 has a really great design in the cab over area. First question, the height. It's 32 inches from the mattress to the ceiling right here. Of course, I'm five foot tall, so that's not always a great gauge for how it's gonna fit you and your lifestyle. On the far side is the three cubic foot refrigerator. Yes, it's a little odd to have a refrigerator in the cab over area, but it really is easy to get to. It's a three-way refrigerator and it allows the rest of the camper to be so open. Open this up, lots of great space, three shelves on the door and the controls right on top. Just in front of the refrigerator is the TV antenna right there. It is an omnidirectional and you can adjust it right here to get the best signal. And it works with the 19 inch flat screen that is right here on the other side. It does actually unclip, it's on a swing arm so it swings around so you can see it from the dinette. It is the 12 volt television so you don't have to plug into shore power for it to work. And below that, the Jensen Stereo, it is Bluetooth, HDMI, it does have a DVD player in it, going to do everything you need and connect to the two speakers that are in the above the dinette, two speakers over here in the bed area, and two speakers outside. Below the 120 plug and the charging port with the 12 volt and the USBs. Now right over here on the right is a little cubby and we have got the monitor right here because if you plug this in right here at your 12 volt lighter it can sit right up here on this shelf and as you can see it's going to give you the view of the backup camera so you can sit up here and see what's behind you. It's kind of nice to know what's happening outside so it's just another way to use a backup camera. There is a little space underneath, so if you're sleeping here, you're not gonna hit it with your feet. That's sometimes a concern. So the cab over has a 60 by 80 queen mattress in it, just like all the other Lance campers. There is a big acrylic window right here on the side, so you've got plenty of light coming in. 
and a vent on the top. Now this vent is a 12 volt fan in it, but it isn't a fantastic fan. You could make that change and add that if you wanted, but it doesn't come from the factory that way. On the other side with the storage, right behind the refrigerator is going to be three shelves that are built in. You know, I like the fact that they have three different types of storage right here on this side. They've got the open shelving, a closet right here that has a hanging rod in the top, or of course you could make your own shelving, and this slides from both sides. And then a countertop in the back. You know, of course, great place to put the book, your glasses, uh, your phone, anything like that that you might want to have right next to the bed. Reading lights on both sides, they're LEDs, easy to turn on and off. The one thing I haven't mentioned is that right up here underneath these open shelves is another LP carbon monoxide detector. You remember that there is one down at the bottom of the steps. You know, I, it's unusual to see two of these in here. My assumption is because you have the three-way refrigerator up here in the cab over area that extra safety precaution to put the LP detector up here next to it so that it can detect anything that might be coming from that refrigerator. So, great design up here, nice space, queen size mattress. It is a Serta mattress with the pillow top. Just a, a great feel in this camper. It's hard to believe it fits in a five foot bed. All right, I think I've covered the details inside. Let's step outside and take a look. The outside of this Lance 650 is just as stylish as the inside. First thing I notice, the keyless entry right here. Now, that is an option on this Lance, but uh, it gives a real sleek look with that handle. Now, one trick to this, it fits very tight. So when I open these doors, I love that I can grab the whole handle, but I like to give it a push and kind of give it a little space to open. It's a little easier that way. But you hear how solid that latch is? Love it. You might notice on this, there are no steps coming in and out because you've got some options. There is an Ultra Deck Plus that can go on a hitch extension that has two steps right outside that you can get as an option. And, and that is a great way to get in and out of the camper, especially if you're towing something behind. Another option would be scissor steps, uh, so, or a freestanding step. There's different choices here, so be sure to talk to your dealer about what step's gonna work for you. The swing out handle, great feature. It can swing out when you need it and get out of the way if you don't. You do have the small single handle if you don't get this option. Down below, the propane tank. There is a five gallon propane tank in here with the gauge on it. Now this is a horizontal tank, a little different than you're used to seeing on trailers. And easy to take this out because all you do is undo this wing nut, this swings out of the way, and the tank pulls straight out. Easy to refill that way. Before we go any further, let's talk about raising and lowering the truck camper. Now, if you're wondering how the jacks work on the truck campers, the 2021 Lances have moved to the Happy Jack system. It's a really small remote. It has a battery in it. And with a few simple clicks, you can actually activate that. And the jacks work really simply. If you want this jack to go up or down, it's that simple. You can work two at a time or you can do all of them at the same time. So I like to show that because that's a worry a lot of people have. How hard is it to load? You know, once you get the hang of backing underneath it, and it might take you a few tries, loading and unloading is very simple. So not a lot to worry about there. The passenger side of the Lance 650 has the power awning on it with an LED light strip on it. Very easy to use. I showed you the switches inside. Just push the button, the awning comes out. You notice it's an armless awning. So they call it lateral arms. 
because it actually scissors out and you don't have this arm coming across to hit your head on. Great way to get a little bit of shade on this side of the camper, especially if you're gonna open this window, right? Speakers on this side, so this can be maybe your outdoor patio area. If you look underneath, you will see that they're running the gas lines here. I really like the way that they have all the connections on the outside. It's a great safety feature. And right here underneath this wing is gonna be the outside propane connection in case you wanted to hook up a grill outside, right here. Now, uh, the first thought, if you're not familiar with truck campers, you may say, how do you get to that? But the side of your truck is gonna be further in. So you're gonna have access right here pretty easily. Your tie down where you connect a turnbuckle to your truck to hold the truck camper into your truck bed is right there as well. Easily accessible. All right. Did you notice the mountain graphics? This nice mountain scene with the reflection down below. I really love the style. But if it's not your favorite, uh, it is an option. And you can get just the Lance stripes on this. And we'll show you what that looks like. Now the porch light I told you about is on both sides of the camper. And right now I have it on yellow, but you can also switch it so that it's a white light. And venting for the refrigerator right up here. I love the raised gel letters of the Lance. The new logo, it's just got a lot of style to it. That brings us right around to the front. Now Lance puts on all of their truck campers. This is a TPO front cap. Now why is a front cap important on a truck camper? Well, you don't want any seams up here. This is where it takes all the wind, all the pressure, and all the bugs. So this front cap not only looks great, but protects the front of your camper from any kind of pressure that might eventually cause leaks. The 12 volt battery on this camper is actually under the step as you go into the cab over section on the inside. Because of that, there is an outside access right here for a charging port. If your batteries go dead, you can hook on right here and charge them. It's a great convenience, so you don't have to go inside to do that. Now, another thing that I wanna mention right now is that there is an option on the 2021s to get a lithium battery from the factory. Now, that's gonna give you a little more battery storage. Uh, they're lighter, uh, no maintenance. Great feature, so be sure to ask your dealer about that if you're interested in lithium. On this camper, they have a tankless water heater. It is by Gerard, and that's a little different than an on-demand system. People get that confused, but a tankless water system just means you don't have that big six gallon tank. So it's a little easier for maintenance. There are a few things in here, some fuses, some pressure relief valves, but Basically, most of the time you'd be opening this up just to clean out cobwebs, be sure it's in good working order. But very simple to use and it heats quickly and you can get a lot of hot water. This little piece on here rotates around. So I tell people, be sure you kind of get it in the right spot when you close the water heater. You don't want this seal to break on there. You've got a little venting right here. But all in all, it's a great system and it saves space. That's one of the reasons that it's so good in a small truck camper like this. Now the next thing is the fresh water tank fill. So if you want to fill up the fresh water tank, it holds 22 gallons. Quite a bit for a truck camper this size. Outside shower, hot and cold with a handheld sprayer. And of course your 30 amp that connects in, it is detachable makes it very easy to just wind it up, throw it inside here if you want to store it there. Let's look underneath because right underneath here is going to be the city water fill, which is where you would hook up the water hose uh, if you're just pulling water straight from the hydrant. And right next to it is going to be the black tank flush. Now, they look exactly the same. Easy to tell which is which. One's white, one's black. The white one is going to be the city water fill black one is the black tank flush. Little bit of storage right here. Uh, I think I would probably keep my cord here. That's a great feature there. Magnetic 
catch right up here to hold this door open. And latch right there. Now this is probably a good time to remind you that uh, all of the locks on the compartment doors and the door are all keyed alike. So you don't have to have all these separate compartment keys. One key is gonna open everything. That's a great feature. Also, in the four season build, you are gonna have insulated compartment doors. You've also got full insulation, the block foam insulation that's in the sides of these, the roof, the floor, all around is gonna keep you warm and toasty. This is a fully laminated wall, so it's heated, pressed. I love the Lamalex exterior. It has a nice shine to it. They just do a great job. And that is all put together with their all aluminum superstructure and the Lancelock system so that all of this welded frame is gonna last a long time. Moving to the back. You've got your tank poles right here, black and gray. Now this camper has a 15 gallon gray tank and a 16 gallon black tank. Quite nice for a camper this size. And all of it right here in the back underneath this door. Again, it's got a magnetic catch that's gonna hold it open when you need it and just lock it closed when you don't. 110 plug right here. And if you happen to have cable or satellite connection, right next to that. Latch here to hold your door open if you wanted to get that breeze in there. And right up here is a sewer hose holder. You saw that inside the cabinet. It's the tube that ran along the top there. Nice place to keep that sewer hose that you would need to hook up right underneath. Let's not forget the backup camera on the top. Now it's got kind of an interesting mounting bracket up there, but uh, there is not a lot of space. So that's gonna give you a good view in the back. The backup camera is an option with Lance, but a really nice one. Now this camper has a full walk-on roof. It's TPO with a 15 year warranty, very durable. And you do have an option here for a rear awning. It's not a power awning, but you can have a rear awning if you would like. It's an option that we don't have on this camper, but you can certainly add that on yours. Weights are always a concern with truck campers, so I wanna talk briefly about where you can find the exact weights. On the outside, you will show the weight of the camper without any options, but with a full freshwater tank. Not exactly how you're gonna be using it, right? So, on a Lance camper, you will always find a sticker that is gonna give you a breakdown of all the weights, what's included and what's not. You should be able to find on that sticker the exact weight of this camper, including all of the options, if those options weigh over 20 pounds. Now, if that option weighs less than 20 pounds, it may not be included, but the heavier options will be. The truck camper we're looking at today with options, without water, is going to be around 1,900 pounds. So be sure to check that sticker, read it carefully, and ask your dealer to help you out. Be sure you match up the camper correctly. So I hope you saw some things that were interesting to you in this video. I appreciate you watching. Um, I know there's some things I didn't cover, as I always say. Stay in touch, be sure to comment. We'll try to answer all of your questions. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more videos. We do them every week. See you next time.